planning a travel with my partner uh, in December for a month. And he's never been out of the country for more than two weeks. <laughs> so we've been, yeah, it's been an issue. And now I've convinced him to leave for a month. But I'm really, really eager to see how it's going to turn out. He's, I don't know, I guess he's the kind of guy who's um, more easily happy with what he has here. I, ever since I was born, I was curious about other culture. I started traveling very early. I always felt that it was something necessary for me to f like to figure out better who I was. And I feel sometimes here people just look too much like me, so it's kind of easy to just associate with that. Defining yourself is easier when you're confronted with a lot of differences. Well, the biggest thing I've learned is that um, uh, knowing yourself is a is a journey is like a continuous thing a continuous quest and if you're looking for a goal or a precise answer then you're doomed because you're not gonna find it you need to um, and it sounds super cliche and super carpe diem <laughs> other thing to say but being at ease with that journey so I guess that's the goal, to actually bring him into a world that is really important to me, which is the world of traveling and getting in uncomfortable situations. Um, that's going to make me happy and I think ultimately will make me happier in a couple, basically. Seeing his vulnerability makes, makes, him, makes me more, makes me like him more. <laughs>